What's going on world? Brand new episode of Open the Box there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here in Tulsa at Ten Toes with my man Cam. Cam, what's hey, going on, man? Going good, man. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now, before we get into the shop, um, I love the, the area, the you know, the whole box, the container store. Before we kind of get into everything, I want to know more about you. I hear you're pretty big time with the sneakers and stuff like that. So tell me how you got into sneakers. It all first started with one pair of shoes. I remember just getting my first pair of Jordans and then whenever the Yeezys first came out, the V1s. So it started from that one shoe. Do you remember that shoe? My first Jordan that I wore was a Charlotte 10. Oh yeah. That was one of my favorite <laughs> ones. I love the colors. When did you kind of realize that, hey, I have like a business here? Like I probably had 50 to 100 pairs of shoes and a whole bunch of Supreme and accessories and all kinds of stuff. And I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, this has gotten out of hand. <laughs> right, right, right. And what year was that? that it, was this was probably around 2016. Okay, and mm -hmm. 10 toes open in 2019. Okay, so describe that process for those who don't know um, and those who are interested in kind of wanting to start a sneaker shop. Like First thing that you have to do, you have to find the perfect location, definitely. Then you just gotta worry about the inventory. That's yeah. always the hardest part, the most stressful. Whenever we first got together, we went to a couple sneaker cons and got a lot of inventory. I put in my collection. Was it hard getting rid of some of it? It was, it was hard, it was really hard. <laughs> well, let's actually go around the shop, um, kind of get a quick tour of what's happening and uh, just kind of how you guys have everything sectioned off. So we have all of our Yeezys down here. Then we have a couple of li like lifestyle shoes. We have the Sakai's, the Revenge Storms, the Fear of Gods, a couple of SBs, the Pharrell's. And these are three of our more sought after Supreme pieces. We have the Three Six Mafia photo tee. And here we have all just more collectible, more higher priced. We have the I Love You Mom Kyrie's, a pair of 1996 Jordan 11s, a pair of the Travis 1s, and then the Travis 6s with the baby. All right, let's go back to that first day that you guys opened, or you know, the first mm. month. What was that like as far as just people coming in and just pretty much cleaning you guys out? It was surreal. I've always dreamed about having a shoe store, sneaker store, and whenever we opened the doors that first day in May, it was like everything has come true. You know, all this hard work has paid off. Nobody really knew about the whole market and the streetwear, but I feel like just in the past six months, it's really grown significantly in Tulsa. All right, Kate, uh, you kind of like the brains behind the operation of Ten Toes. Uh, how did you get inspired to start? So my uh, sophomore year in one of my <clears throat> entrepreneurship classes. At Oklahoma State, At Oklahoma right? State. We I, was had, told, I was told I can't come in here with OU, so it's <laughs> when I get kicked out. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we had a guy who owned a streetwear store come and speak to one of our entrepreneurship classes. And I was like, the second I left that class, I was like, I gotta get a pair of Yeezys. And uh, eventually, the guys, they kinda came to me with this idea. We started working on this and didn't necessarily think anything was gonna come of it. And then a year later, here we are. Now with you handling a lot of the marketing events, social media, what is your vision for Ten Toes moving forward? I have a pretty, like a nationwide vision. I like to just keep on traveling around, going to every single sneaker con. Um, going to all the complex cons, keeping our face prevalent in the scene, getting into the online market more, um, getting into throwing events more, really just creating like an overall brand that um, encompasses a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, what have been like the, the joys so far? I'd say the best part is just getting to be surrounded by all this stuff all the time, <laughs> getting to have an excuse to go to sneaker con, go to complex con, uh, than just being surrounded by all the stuff that we were checking out on Instagram every single day. Um, moving forward, uh, tell me about, you You gave us a kind of a sneak peek uh, of the, the new shop, but tell me about that. What, what are you guys gonna do? So we're planning on keeping the downtown location, yeah. but we're planning on opening up 
opening up a new location uh, in Woodland Hills Mall, uh, hopefully in uh, February. Give me your significance of the name Ten Toes. I know you're into marketing. I know, mm. uh, I know every, pretty much everyone has Ten Toes, but give so, me your significance. So one of the other owners on the store um, who helps me with a lot of the online marketing and uh, he does like the website and stuff, Parker, we were trying to come up with a name and we had lists and lists and lists and lists and lists of names. And then almost jokingly, he says, Ten Toes Tulsa. And I was like, wait, no, nah, that's it. Like that clicks. Yeah. So everything's happened super organically on the store. We haven't really tried to, f we, we went into it with the idea of the store, but we haven't really had to force anything to happen. It's just all Organic. happened naturally. Bernardo, I, I would say Cam is like the face of everything, and I would say Cade is kind of like the brains behind it, and you're like that that middleman, that, that key call. Tell me from your perspective how you guys all linked up. We're from here. We'd always been in high school looking at all this stuff on Instagram, didn't have the chance to actually see it in person. So I'd met Cade freshman year of college, both marketing majors. Okay. I have an entrepreneurship minor. He's an a, a entrepreneurship major too. So we had a lot of classes that were always linked together. So we had worked on projects before. We had worked on different business plans that didn't pan out like this one did, but we knew one would click at one point and here we are. Right, right. Yeah. Now growing up in Tulsa, you've been here for quite a, quite a while. Um, tell me about the, the sneaker scene, the, the vintage scene here in Tulsa. What are people here like purchasing all the time? Tulsa's a small city when you look at big cities like LA, but it's really growing. Like this year, I'd say the last five years, Tulsa's getting on the big stage and it, it'll get there one day, but people are still interested in all that stuff. Like the hype and streetwear, it's still a thing. So. I'd say like Yeezys are big, big sellers. People love just Jordan ones. The vintage, there's a lot of, there's a cool guy we work with who has a crazy vintage collection. He's always helping us out. People out in OKC helping us with a lot of the vintage too. So it's like a, li a little bit of everything, but Tulsa is really the community where everything's involved. Now outside of Tulsa, where, do, where would you say you guys get a lot of customers? Is it Stillwater? Norman, Oklahoma City, where is it? Yeah, so like a lot of our friends out in Stillwater, they support us a lot. And then we also have a lot of friends in OKC, Dallas, just along the Midwest, we have a lot of connections. And I heard Cam say Kansas City. Uh, is it, that's yeah, that's away, Yeah, that's right? about four hours from here to yeah. Kansas City, four hours from here to Dallas. So anywhere between that eight hours, we got it covered. Yeah, yeah. Now, before we get to the next person, let's actually go to uh, some of the vintage and check it out. Yeah, for uh, sure. Because I definitely want to see what you guys have in store. So we have some like, Vintage like cowboy crew necks. Okay. We have a, a lot of Harley tees in here. So Nalia tee. This one's That's one of my nice. favorite ones yeah. right now. And just like we just try to hit on everything. We got some uh, some old Batman, some Kiss like concert tees, yeah. a little bit of rock bands, just everything. Is there a favorite vintage piece you guys had in here that maybe is gone now? We did. Yeah. Uh, Cam came back from LA and he brought this old Mike Tyson tee from one of his <laughs> fights back in the 90s. And it was crazy. It was super nice. clean. Is there a vintage piece that you're looking to get in here that you may have not seen just yet? Like well, our, our, we're looking for that Tupac tee. That's the one we really want in here. Yeah. Tell me if I'm getting this right. I have currently Cam is the face, and I have Cade mm. as the brains. I have Bernardo as the key cog middleman, and I I have you as like the behind the scenes, like. I'll that's make it yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's a good team. Oh yeah. Y'all are one one away from like having a basketball team. There. Now, Patrick, tell me, uh, you you travel a lot. You you with Cam all the time. Tell me what that looks like from a behind the scenes aspect and, and what you're looking for when you're going to these different events. And Usually when we go to sneaker cons, me and Cam work as a team and divide it to where Cam goes out, uh, walks around tables, picks up inventory, while I kind of sit in the back 
and run our booth and sell. We really switch off throughout the shows and kind of just like keep that chemistry together to find best shoes that we can get and also sell a lot of our products while we're in the cities that we go to. What would you say has been uh, you guys' most successful trip? One of our biggest trips would be going to Chicago when Cam went down to Complex Con. He was able to bring back a lot of the merch from the Virgil pop-up that was down there. It was really cool bringing a lot of uh, shirts and accessories because those really are exclusive because the only people that were able to get a hand on those were people that were at actually at the Complex Con event in Chicago. Give me the three pieces that could be vintage sneakers or whatever that you guys, you and came together, uh, came back with. We found a few of the Yeezy V1s, the Turtle Doves, and we've also found a bunch of Travis's. You know, Travis Scott shoes right now, they're having a big hype, whether it's his shoes, his accessories, like the cereal boxes and all that. So I'd say about the Turtle Doves, the Travis Ones high top, those are going crazy right now on the market. And another shoe that we've also brought back are the Nike Sakai's, you know, they recently released in the past couple months and those are one of the shoes that you know going to the sneaker events i see a lot of the same shoes that are like running hot on the market but the sakai's bringing those back was very nice because a lot of people hadn't seen those in person yet mm -hmm. until they came into the store and saw a couple of the colorways we've had so now i know you guys are, are all business partners um but i know you guys are also into what you Sale. Oh yeah. So for who sure. would you say on the team is, dips into the? Who's got the, the most drip? Yeah. On the yeah. team, <laughs> I think Cam has the most drip. Cam. I mean, he he has been in the game for for longer than us. Cam's always wearing some crazy off whites or some OG shoes. You know, he's got the shattered backboards and all that. So. Cam's definitely got the drip, but I'm 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 trying. I'm, yeah, I'm trying yeah, to get up there. <laughs> One day we'll have a little competition. <laughs> right, 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 right. Now through the six months that Ten Toes has been open, uh, what has been the most re rewarding thing to you? I asked Kate this, but what what about you? The most rewarding thing to me by far has been the ability to open up an opportunity for people. You know, uh, we get a lot of customers that come in, and a lot of them just like being in here, just to have. A sneaker talk you know I like being more than a store a place where sneakerheads can come down and talk about releases and all this it's a very interesting market and I just love being able to give back and open up this whole new opportunity for Tulsa to grow with okay so sure. to end this I, I, I want you to kind of give me uh, another thing I'll put you on the spot again give me the three things in this shop that I probably won't be able to find in any other shop. Well, I think one of the items, which is by far one of my favorite items, is the OG 1996 Damn. Bread 11s. It's hard to come across a pair that's so old and in such good condition too, that that's by far one of my favorite pieces that we have right now is this Jordan 11. Another one would be this Nipsey Hustle record that we have in this right next to the Jordans. And the third item I'd have to say, I'm, I'm big into retros and like vintage and all that, but I love the, the LeBrons. Yeah. The original SVSM, his high school colorways, you know, yeah. you can't go wrong with that. Especially now how LeBron is kind of the face of basketball and all that. It's cool to see a real, real retro of his shoes just after all the releases that he's had. So I'd say those three, three items were definitely like one of the ex most exclusive items that we have in the store right now, yeah, yeah, for definitely. sure. Well, there you have it, folks. Ten Toes Tulsa. Um, Patrick, tell everyone where they can find Ten Toes Tulsa on social media, uh, physical address, everything. So we're located at 502 East 3rd Street at the Box Yard in downtown Tulsa. We also have an uh, Instagram. It's just Ten Toes Tulsa. We post a lot of our new inventory daily on there. And we also have a Facebook, which is also Ten Toes Tulsa. And um, yeah, that's it. Cool, cool, man. I appreciate, appreciate you, man. And thank you for you and the team. Um, you guys, like I said, I, I'm, let me be that fifth member or something so we can all for know, sure take on any team out here. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs>